As you stand at the Teton Glacier turnout, turn around slowly. Would you believe that you can see evidence of three different glaciers from here? Two of these glacial advances happened during the Pleistocene Ice Age that ended thousands of years ago. The last glacial advance happened during a cool period called the Little Ice Age that ended in the 1850s. The Pleistocene Ice Age began as little as two million years ago when glaciers scoured North America numerous times. As ice sheets flowed south from Canada, ice sheets also flowed off the high plateau of Yellowstone and the surrounding mountains. Evidence left by these glaciers includes sharp mountain ridges called arêtes, U-shaped canyons, mounds of glacial debris called moraines, and cobble-covered plains washed by melting glaciers. The last two glacial advances during the Pleistocene draw their names from the nearby Wind River Range. The Bull Lake period that ended roughly 120,000 years ago blanketed the entire valley with ice covering this spot by about 2,000 feet. Look to the east. The ridge covered by lodgepole pines is a glacial moraine from the Bull Lake period. Alpine glaciers from the Pinedale period that ended about 14,000 years ago carved depressions along the base of the mountains and are now filled with lakes such as Jenny and Jackson. As you look to the southwest, the low hills covered in lodgepole pines and aspen trees are glacial moraines from a Pinedale Glacier that created a natural dam around Taggart Lake. During historic times, quite a number of small alpine glaciers formed during a cool period called the Little Ice Age that lasted from about 1400 to 1850. Today, less than a dozen of these glaciers remain in the Teton Range. If you look high on the north flank of the Grand Teton, you can see the crevasses from the Teton Glacier. Crevasses, or cracks in the glacier, indicate that the glacier is flowing downhill due to gravity. Even though these glaciers are flowing downhill, they are melting and receding faster than they advance. Imagine the Teton Range once the glaciers are gone. As you travel through Grand Teton National Park, imagine how glaciers have shaped this landscape. Look for moraines covered by lodgepole pines around Jenny Lake, for U-shaped canyons such as Cascade Canyon, and admire the jagged features of the Teton Range while appreciating the changing landscape.